Welcome to Watch Mojo UK, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 British TV channels that don't exist anymore. <laughs> Before we begin, we publish new content every day, so be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. For this list, we're going to be looking at TV channels that don't broadcast in the UK anymore. They can still broadcast in any other country or online, but you have to be able to find them on telly. Let us know in the comments which you think could make a return to the airwaves. Number 10. Men and Motors in the days before Dave, British television needed another venture to satisfy the people who like to spend their weekends watching Top Gear reruns. Hey. <laughs> that venture was Men and Motors, a channel aimed entirely at men who like motors and women. Not only were there testosterone-fueled car shows, but there was also testosterone-fueled action movies, adult cartoons, and plenty of footage of scantily clad women. Thursdays at 10 on Men and Motors. That's because the men and motors content were separate. It was used cars in the day and Playboy in the night. Bizarrely, the brand still exists, only it's entirely online since the channel went off air in 2010. Number 9. Fox Kids This channel went through numerous rebrands during its long lifetime and didn't fare too well in any of the countries it reached. Though Fox is of course an American company, there was a Fox Kids channel that aired in the UK and Ireland as well, before being subsumed by Jetix in 2004. Jetix aired lots of American-made cartoons and shows, including some versions of Power Rangers and Digimon, but eventually Jetix was rebranded too. It became Disney XD, which broadcasts Phineas and Ferb, Pokemon and Gravity Falls, until it was finally shuttered in 2020 to make room for Disney+. Plus. Number 8. Nuts TV It's 9pm, welcome to something that's not been touched by human hands, not by you, not by me, definitely not by her, not by this gang, this is Nuts TV! <laughs> If you thought Men and Motors sounded a bit lowbrow, you must have forgotten about Nuts TV, an entire channel made by the very same people behind Nuts Magazine, of course. Unlike other defunct channels, Nuts TV was actually available on Freeview, but it still couldn't pull in the viewers even by promising a non-stop parade of Page 3 girls. Up for it? No. It only graced our screens for two years, producing shows about the North slash South Divide and an extremely weird segment where model Lucy Pinder read classical works of literature in lingerie. It's not surprising the channel was axed in 2009, with Nuts Magazine itself following five years later. Number 7. ITV Play this channel aired for less than a year thanks to very poor timing on the part of ITV because 2007 saw the infamous premium rate phone-in scandal wreck the British Isles. It's our live streaming on ITV Play. Phone-in competitions like those ITV Play was designed to showcase had legal action taken against them by Ofcom. They were charging people way too much money with extremely slim odds of ever getting connected to the channel, let alone actually winning some money. ITV Play was just one of many offenders, but with ITV facing tens of millions of pounds in fines, the channel was closed and the phone-in system reformed. ITV has suspended all of its premium rate phone-ins while an independent review is carried out. Number 6. Sumo TV Imagine a world where you can create a platform and have the users provide all the content. In 2006, YouTube had only just launched, so this idea was still a novelty. And it stayed a novelty because it's not a format that can ever work on broadcast television. That's one of the reasons why Sumo TV, which aired user-generated content, didn't last. It's now even easier to get your message on Sumo. Unfortunately, in 2006, most people didn't have access to high-quality cameras or the means to edit videos. 
With the advent of widespread internet access, Sumo TV was always doomed, and it also got in trouble with Ofcom for putting the weight of broadcast regulations on the people sending in the clips. Loving it the whole life, having to watch the whole life. Number five, BBC Choice. Choice is. <laughs> Choice is energizing and surprising. The problem with BBC Choice was that it didn't really know what it wanted to be. It was groundbreaking as the BBC's first entirely digital TV channel, but it took a few years to find its feet. Its initial roster had the celebrity gossip news show Liquid News, while it also showed episodes of Robot Wars and, during the day, kids shows. Welcome to BBC Choice. This is a scene which can only spell championship gold. It would eventually morph into CBBC and BBC Three, the latter of which was also shuttered in 2016 despite the backlash the BBC faced. Ultimately, while BBC Choice didn't exist anymore, many young people have fond memories of both CBBC and BBC Three depending on their age. An exclusive insight into the world of television live and direct to you. Number four, The Wrestling Channel. This is TWC. Though wildly popular in other parts of the world, professional wrestling is definitely something more of a niche sport in the UK, despite its passionate fan base which is probably why an entire channel devoted to it didn't manage to survive forever. That said, it was a landmark channel as the first wrestling-only channel in the world. The Wrestling Channel presents the most anticipated lineup of wrestling that Europe has ever seen. Introducing British wrestling fans to the likes of Ring of Honor, TNA, and even Japanese promotions like Pro Wrestling Noah, TWC is constantly thanked for letting people know there was more than just the WWE. Despite trying to expand into other sports like boxing under the name The Fight Network after an acquisition, it was tragically only on air for four years. Number three, Sky Living. All new tonight at nine on Sky Living It. It went through multiple rebrands in its long lifetime, but in the UK, Sky Living also known as Living TV or, right from the start, UK Living, might be most notorious as the original network of Most Haunted. As well as that, it produced a large number of other paranormal shows, which is somewhat ironic considering the name. Technically, the channel is still on the air, but it's been totally rebranded as Sky Witness since 2018, showing entirely crime shows and procedurals. Now, adult themes, this is Sky Witness. It's a little sad that the original go-to for ghost hunting telly has all but disappeared, but it's not like there aren't plenty of other channels filling that void. Criminal Minds, now on Sky Living HD. Number two, CNX. Dragon Ball Z, every day at 5 p.m. on CNX. Teenagers are a strange demographic, and it's difficult to make TV that resonates with them. That's what CNX tried and ultimately failed to do, remaining on air for just 11 months between 2002 and 2003. It was an offshoot of Cartoon Network in the British Isles and introduced audiences to anime like Outlaw Star and Cowboy Bebop. Cowboy Bebop in 30 minutes, only on CNX. It also played mature cartoons from Adult Swim. Some bizarre choices such as airing live-action shows like Kung Fu eventually led to the channel's downfall. Gratefully though, like a phoenix from the ashes, CNX's death led to the birth of Toonami, which continued to air many of the anime series fans had come to love. Number 1. VH1 That was a commercial presentation. Welcome back to VH1. The original VH1 in the US was conceived as the more sophisticated older brother of MTV, the notoriously rowdy network that got popular through music videos but eventually devolved into low-effort reality shows. But while the American VH1 is still going strong, the same can't be said for the version that aired in the UK and Ireland. Its sibling channel, VH2, had already tried and failed to break the UK market in 2003 lasting for only three years. By comparison, VH1 had a much better go of it and actually remained on the air from 1994 all the way to 2020. 
but even with Drag Race to its name, VH1 was still shuttered. Do you agree with our picks? Check out this other recent clip from Watch Mojo UK and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.